world. Just like that, input is equal to output. But that does not give us much joy. Man is never like that. We are all homo sapiens. So what happens? We have our intelligence. Then we move on to the next stage, which is called the living stage, which is I am one step better than what I am today. I have to be one step better. It could be my physical life, it could be my social life, it could be my spiritual life, it could be my mental life. So I have to see that I upskill myself or reskill myself in all these four aspects of life. That is living, my dear friend. That is the art of living. Once we don't change ourselves, we are stuck. We are there on a not so active treadmill or on a static bicycle. Well, now we move on to the next one, which is called when we were born. We were all on a cultural landscape, probably till we were 15, 16 years of age. What is a cultural landscape? Mother, father, your grandmom, grandfather, your uncle, aunties, friends, anybody, they said, this is life. This is what you should do, what you should wear, what you should eat, with whom you should talk, with whom you should not talk, come home before it is 6.30, especially for girls. All this is, was a cultural landscape we were living. We obeyed them, we, they made the rules and we obeyed them. We did not apply our mind, nor were we permitted to use our mind. All right? Then, slowly maturity came in and we started exploring the world which I want. What was the world you, each one of us wanted? We wanted to be doctors, we wanted to be professors, we wanted to be engineers. So many dreams in us, we wanted to be teachers. So we moved on to the next world, the world within the world I want to be. Okay, all that is done. Your profession, you have gone so high, you did. After a few years, let's say, I'm not going to mention which age, because it varies, for some it will be early, for some it will be late. So nothing is late in life. Then, there is a world within you. There is a world, it, is, it almost matches our Maslow's law. There is a world within you. My God, I'm having the ladder against the wrong wall. This is not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go somewhere, but I am somewhere. I have seen all these three things in my life. I was in Durdarshan for 10 years. But I said after the tenth, ending 10th tenth year, I said, this is not where I wanted to be. Applying lipstick and applying the makeup and announcing with a fake smile. I said, this is not where I wanted to be. And I realized it after so many years. By then I turn back and see 10 years are gone. So the world which is within me. Then I started exploring. Where did I want to go? Where did I want to go? It took some time. So I tried so many things and finally landed in one particular place. Well, this was the third. Finally, there is one stage, my dear friends, which is, I am adhering to a topic which is awakening the inner potential. What is that inner potential? The final thing is called the blissy pine. What is that bliss? Bliss means happiness. What is this? This is when you start strengthening yourself and you start becoming strong, this is where I want to go, universe supports you. The nature supports you. The divine supports you. It takes you there. It <laughs> takes you there. You need not go and knock anybody's office. You need not knock anybody's doors. The opportunity comes and you are taken there and that is the ultimate place where all of us go. Bliss of mind, there is happiness. You are so happy that you are there. Okay, that is the stage. In fact, but to go to bliss of mind, they say it is easy. Spiritual leaders say it is easy. But 
it is challenging. You have your own challenges. I said, you want that, it pulls you. Again, you recoup yourself, you rejuvenate yourself, you reinvent yourself. You would have done so much of odd things at that time. Again, you say, I'm sorry, universe. I'm sorry, the law of attraction. I'm so sorry for what I've done. And again, you go back. And that, my dear friends, is bliss of mind. It is a world where everything is decided by Him. Everything is decided by Him. You just have to be there, exist, and you are taken there. So these, is the, these are the four stages I thought I should be sharing it with you. Buddha took nine years to attain salvation. All right? And Buddha, he himself took nine years. Mm -hmm. How many years would we take? Mm -hmm. I think it would be a lifetime. Yes. Right? Okay. He was aware from all distractions. Yes. Away from all distractions. Mm -hmm. And we, in the midst of everything, he sat down under the Bodhi tree and meditated, mm -hmm. leaving his wife Yashoda mm -hmm. and son Rahul. Could we do that? Mm -hmm. Could we abandon our families? No. Could we abandon our husbands or children and come here? Mm -hmm. Do anything? It is not possible. Mm -hmm. So amidst this life, so when Buddha could take nine years, and so I bet it is going to take a lot of time for each one of us. That is why we all have the energy, Shakti, Viryam, and Deva Prakriti. What is Shakti? Shakti is the ordinary energy of all of us have. Viryam, what is Viryam is extraordinary energy. And Deva Prakriti is the energy which is 